For our latest game, Smooth Criminal, I wanted to make the player feel like they're playing through a slick action movie. This meant adding a lot of intense moments and livening them up with buckets of blood and dramatic camera effects. In this video, I'll show you how you can make your action scenes pop using Cinemachine and just a little bit of code. First, we need to import the Cinemachine package into Unity. So go to the Package Manager window and do that. Find Cinemachine and press Install. Now we can start adding our different cameras. Go to the Cinemachine tab and click Virtual Camera. The way Cinemachine works is you have a main camera and as many different virtual cameras as you want. The main camera takes on the properties of whichever virtual camera is active at a given time. Let's make our first virtual camera an establishing shot. That's a wide shot that shows the whole level. Next is the follow camera. This is the one that the player sees the most. It follows the player character as they move through the level. Make sure that you set its follow target to the player. For the last camera, we want a dramatic close-up when the player hits the enemy. This one should be zoomed to just show the two characters. Let's start directing our cameras. I actually made a class to help with this called Camera Manager. It uses the singleton pattern so that I can reach it from any script, and it has references to each virtual camera. Most importantly, it's got some helper functions so that I can activate each camera easily. We want the game to start with the establishing shot, and then transition to the following camera after a brief delay. Now, there's a million different ways you can add a delay, but I'm using a timer system that I've been working on for my own projects. Maybe I'll do a video on it sometime, but for now, if you want to use it, you can just check out the code for it, or just use a coroutine if you prefer that. Next up, we want to make that zoom in happen. So in the function where the player kicks the enemy, I'll call the function to change to the close-up camera, I also delay the use of my return to normal function, which puts the camera back to following the player. And then also set the camera's target to the enemy that was just hit. Another neat touch is that I also change the camera's Dutch angle setting, which kind of creates a bit of a jarring rotation effect that I think looks awesome. If we play the game, we can see all of our cool camera changes working, but it doesn't feel good. We want to adjust how the cameras actually cut back and forth. We need to add some custom blends to the Cinemachine brain to make this happen. Make the asset for that, and then we can tell it how to do each transition. The establishing shot should slowly transition to the follow cam. But the zoom in to the close up shot should be immediate. Lastly, I want to zoom the camera back out while the enemy is falling to their death, just to make it a bit more dramatic. So I'll switch to the establishing shot when the enemy is falling and delay a return to the normal view. I want this to be an instant cut, so I make sure to set the blend correctly. I'm pretty happy with these quick, action movie style cuts. It's one more way of adding polish and juice to your game. As always, the link to the project's code is available below, as is the link for Smooth Criminal so you can play it yourself. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, subscribe, join our Discord, follow us on Twitter, or just tell your mom about it. Thanks for watching!